What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves an airlock, weakness policy, Rayquaza team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. And guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other Pokemon you guys would like to see me play once again or if it's a new Pokemon on the channel. Make sure you leave it in the comment section down below because I'm planning on redoing a lot of the restricted mods with different teams and different builds around them. But rocking out on this team, starting off in that top left corner, we got Kartana and Ultra Beast with the Beast Boost ability, the Assault Vest, and then the moveset of Leaf Blade, Aerial Ace, Smart Strike, and Sacred Sword. This Pokemon is really, really strong, especially in the physical attacking category. If you can pick up a KO with him, we'll get the Beast Boost. It's really fast, and then it can absolutely dominate the battle. Right next to him, we got a support mod with Incineroar with the Intimidate ability, the Safety Goggles, and then the normal moveset for him with the Fake Out for the Flinches, Fire Blitz for Stab, Snarl for Special Attack Drop, and Parting Shot just to swap out, pivot around, and also get the Attack Drop with it as well. Behind my face cam is another support mod with Amoongus, Regenerator ability, the Focus Sash so it doesn't get one tap. Then we got the normal moveset for him with Sludge Bomb, Spore for Sleeps, Rage Power to distract the Pokemon, and Protect as our final move. Right next to him, we got the heart and soul of this team. We got Rayquaza with that airlock ability so we can control a little bit of weather. I believe that's what it does, right? I'm going to have to look back into it because last time we did a video on this, I totally like said what airlock was and it was totally wrong. So I got to look into it once the video gets uh, started. We'll check it summary and check that out. But we also have that weakness policy, so potentially we can get that proc maybe with that Mimikyu. Mimikyu can actually proc that with the draining kiss and we can roll out from there with the plus two attack or special attack. We got Protect, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Ascent, and Flamethrower for our coverage move. Bottom left corner, we got Regilecki, who's going to be a great Pokemon in all the battles, I believe. We got Transistor and the Magnet for more damage with Electric moves. We got Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Electro Web to slow down, and Protect as our final move. Final Pokemon, we got Mimikyu on the team. Mimikyu as the Disguise. Obviously, that is one of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion, considering we can just take a hit and get one from there. We also got Room Service, so our speed's going to lower in Trick Room. That is wonderful. And we also are rocking Trick Room on this Pokemon. We have Light Screen as well to help us out with big special attackers. Draining Kiss and will o -Wisp for physical attackers. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this weakness policy Rayquaza team. First battle coming at you guys, and your boy is ready to. I'm feeling good today. I don't know why. I woke up ready to record, ready to play some Pokemon for you guys. Even though I got home at like 4 a.m., I woke up pretty early too. It's actually 9.30 a.m. when this recording is taking place. I don't know why. I'm working on like no sleep, but I got a lot of energy. We're going up against a Sun Torkoal team or Sun Venusaur team alongside with, uh, who is that? Zamazetta. No, not Zamazetta. Zacian right there alongside with Landers, Mimikyu, and, uh, Indeed, I'm actually going to lead the Mimikyu and the Rayquaza combo. Try to get that rolling. He has no Tailwind. He just has Sun. And uh, can we control weather? No, we can't. We don't have anything to really do good with weather. I do have Amoongus. I do have Incineroar. We have Snarls with them. That's not bad. It's not bad. I could bring Kartana as well. Kartana's not bad here as well. Um, Do I want Kartana? Mm. Yeah, we're going to bring Kartana with that Assault Vest. He has a lot of special attackers. And then in the final spot, do I go Incineroar? I mean, he doesn't have a lot of physical attackers. I do want to check out what Airlock does real quick. Give me a sec. Give me one second. Airlock. Eliminates the effects of weather. Okay, so the effects of it go down. That is wonderful. Um, I think the weather still goes on the field, but this the effects of it go away. I think we're going to go Regilecki. Do I go Regilecki? Ah, no, I can't. Go Incineroar. I'm going to go Incineroar. I think that's going to be the play. We're going to proc weakest policy. Maybe we shouldn't have won Incineroar. I don't know. Maybe we should have just threw Regilecki in there as an extra attacker. But I feel like we can potentially proc this policy and roll out really, really strong with this Rayquaza. I was kind of like, we had like 10 seconds left. I just had to pick somebody. The reason I was holding back on the Regilecki was because of the, what's it called? The Landorus, which I think he's going to bring. He's going to go Indeedee and Venusaur. That's totally fine. So he's going to start uh, Sleep Powdering me up. Um, How should I play this one? I can just Dynamax, right? I could just Dynamax. If I wanted to. Hmm. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? He's going to put me to sleep. That's a, that's an obvious play. Airlock's going to come out here. Effects on all the weathers disappear, but there is no weather. Okay, um, what do I want to do here? I could set up a light screen. I could just drop a trick room, but no, there's really no need for trick room. Follow me, going to come out here, so we cannot even go for that. Uh, I just set up a light screen. Light screen might be the play. Um, I wish I, I could swap Rayquaza for safety goggles. And set up a free light screen. That could be big play. Ooh, that could be big, big play. I'm kind of with it. Set up that light screen. 
and swap you out so you don't put me to sleep. Because you know to follow me and he's going to try to put me to sleep. So, yo, we're thinking. We're thinking right off the rip here. There's no way he's Dynamaxing, right? Not a shot. He's got to be going for that uh, sleep powder into my Rayquaza Rick Rick slot. Let's see what he goes. We're going to swap into the safety goggles. And show me the follow me coming out here. We're going to intimidate, which is which is pretty nice. But again, I think just follow me and sleep powder is coming out. Is that correct? Is that a correct statement? Oh, no. Oh, that doesn't affect Incineroar, though. So, dude, we could have just won this match. We could have just won this match easily. I just going to get up at this next turn, which is going to be wonderful. Wow, we could have just won this match pretty easily. Is he going to go for a sleep powder, though? He might still go for a sleep powder. I can definitely see that happening. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. He's just going to go straight for a sludge bomb, man. Wow, we could have we just won this match easily. We could have just dominated that. We got the light screen up. Um, hmm, what do I do here? I guess I'll just drop a draining kiss around you, and I'm just gonna start. We could fake out. No, we cannot fake out. I don't remember that. I'm just gonna start snarling. Two special attackers? Bro, right, let's just start snarling up. We can take out a lot of these guys out the game. But, dude, we could have just won that game. If we proc policy, airstream the Venusaur, that's GG's. Venusaur's gone. Spanner Force isn't doing too, too much to my uh, Rayquaza. And we're rolling from there. Helping Hands gonna come out here. What are you going for? An Earth Power, if I had to guess? We do have a Light Screen, and we'll instantly we'll be able to outspeed. There's a nice little draining kiss. I would love to start throwing burns up, but I can't do anything with that. We're just going to get a little bit of HP back. Try to keep my Mims alive. Earth Power's going to come through. Can we eat? We might be able to. Yeah, we might. We will. Jeez, man. Yo, we eat that up like nothing. Snarl's going to come out here. Light Screen's helping us out, and we're just going to start doing some Snarl damage. All right, we'll make this battle long. I don't mind it. Uh, I could Flare Blitz now. I think I'm going to drop a big old Flare Blitz now. Try to get rid of that Venusaur. Draining Kiss into you again. And just go into a nice little Flare Blitz. Or I can Parting Shot. I'm going to Parting Shot into the Venusaur slot. Now that these guys are both minus one, I'm going to try to get my Rayquaza back out here. Because if I can set up Rayquaza, it's going to be GG's. Vanity Force can come out here again. Doesn't affect Incineroar, and Mimikyu should be able to eat up decently well, right? Get it, Mims. Yeah, yo, Mims is on the board, baby. Any case comes out here, give me some HP. Yeah, so those Snarl, that Snarl was actually pretty big, and the Light Screen's helping us out tremendously. All right, slow start, but yo, we're going to try to get this, uh... I guess he's not rocking Sleep Powder. We're able to eat. Get some poison, though. I'm totally fine by that. Um, Party Shots can come out here. I see Mim... So Mimikyu outspeeds the Venusaur, which is nice to know. We're going to get that Rayquaza back out here. And I don't see another Expanded Force taking out my Mimikyu. Actually, it might with the Poison. Mm. It's going to be tough, but we're still Dynamaxing. We're still getting the Rayquaza out here. And we have Instant Run in the back for another turn. When the Terrain actually will end. That's actually big. Does an Expanded Force take me out? Yeah, I think it is, but we're still going to go for it. We're still going to go for that Draining Kiss on me. And I am going to Dynamax and start taking Speed Control. He might be Koba buried. I can totally see him being Koba buried. He's not Life Orb. He's gotta be Koba buried, right? But we'll start getting speed. Actually, Rayquaza should be fit. Wait a minute. Rayquaza should be fastest. Give us the speed boost. And then Mimikyu should go. Right? I think that's gonna be speed difference. I think that's the only problem with the team. Is that the Mimikyu is slower than the Rayquaza, so he can't proc the policy before the Rayquaza goes. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Nope, this thing just outspeeds them all. Mimikyu is gone. And we're still going to be able to get off a nice little airstream, which is nice. That's why I'm coming through. Do not poison me. I cry a little bit. Yeah, you guys are low. Here comes the airstream. No Koba Berry. We're going to be able to KO here. Well, we should be able to. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right. We're going to start uh, start rolling here. I think I should go back out in the Sinor. I believe the terrain should end too. Right? Is terrain gone? Or do I just go straight into Kartana? I think terrain ends. I'm gonna go into you. If not, I can snarl and all that. Which is pretty nice. Sonora gets poking out here. I'm gonna leave my Kartana in the back end. I'm not worried about that indeed. If it goes for a follow me, it goes for a follow me. And Landers comes out here. So we're gonna go intimidate for intimidate here. Which isn't bad at all. But I think I think requires a special, right? Dragon Pulse. Flamethrower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're special back here. Intimidate coming out here, so I think we're fine. Uh, I could go for another parting shot. I hope that the terrain ends. Did it end? No, terrain didn't end. That's whack. Okay. Um, I could snarl. I could parting shot again. Isn't bad. I think I might just flare blitz. 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna flare blitz and then drop a uh, Wormwind. Wormwind's not a big call because I can get the attack drop that way and get some stab damage. Or I can start taking more speed, but I think we're fine with the speed. Because if I take out this Ndidi and I have that Landorus minus two on attack, that's gonna be huge. And he is gonna Dynamax. Ooh, okay. Okay, he is gonna Dynamax his Lando. That's huge. That is huge. We already got this thing minus two. But we're gonna start to take out this uh this Dynamax Pokemon out the game. But yo, just if I would have just draining kiss uh, turn one, I could have just dumped this battle in like six moves, not even five moves or less. It would have been game over. Would have been GG's. But he's gonna drop a helping hand. He is minus one, so I don't see him KOing anything besides my Incineroar. Now he's minus two, which is awesome. Wormwind comes out here, takes out the Ndidi, get it out my face. We are gonna be able to get off a of Flare Blitz. Actually, no, Lando's gonna be able to outspeed first. And I think he might drop a rock onto my uh, Incineroar. He goes for the Rockfall. Go over my Rayquaza. Let's see what he does. It is, yo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we got speed. That still did a lot of damage, I ain't gonna lie. We got speed. Our policy's procced. He's minus two. Those weather effects do not do anything. Also, he doesn't get a boost. I don't think... Will the Buffets come around? Let's see. He's Life Orb. Where Blitz comes out here. Doing some nice damage. We're gonna take some recoil, though. Okay, no more light screen. That's okay. He's physical attacking. And who's his final mon? Like, we still have Kartana. And Kartana is going to be able to outspeed Lando. I'm not, like, again, I'm not worried about the Landers. The only Pokemon I'm really... Oh, it's Torkoal. Get this thing out of my face. It's Torkoal. I still want to take Torkoal out. He's going to set the Drought. So I'm going to Flare Blitz into Lando. And I'm going to Airstream to get the speed boost for the team. Okay. Let's get it. Flare Blitz coming out. Right on to you. And I'm just going to... Yeah, like I said, I'm going to Airstream. Just to make sure that Incineroar... Actually, will Incineroar outspeed after a speed boost? Maybe, maybe not. But we're still going to go for it. I should just run for a warm one to get another minus one. Let's see what happens here. Here's my airstream. This should just KO it straight up. We're plus two. Get him out of here. Yo, Rayquaza is an absolute beast. This is exactly why I want to use this Pokemon again. He's so good. Critical hit. Oh, but we have airlock. So I don't think... Uh, I don't think we're going to get a, a boost from the weather for Flare Blitz. Let's see what he does. He goes for a rock fall. He's changing it anyway. He does outspeed. And Rayquaza's gonna go down. Okay, that's fine. Rayquaza drops down. We have Incineroar coming out here with a Flare Blitz. I still have Kartana with an Assault Vest, but again, he's physical attacking. So let's just see how this plays out. I could protect. Don't I have Protect on a Kartana? I mean, I'm Steel type, so Rock, you kind of get it out of here. There's Flare Blitz. Bang. Doing a little bit more damage. And he has one more turn. This is actually a really good battle. Coming down. Coming down to it. Kartana comes out. And Kartana should be able to outspeed. Right? This thing is rather speedy. 177. It's going to be close. That's a close one. Because I don't really know the speeds of Pokemon. Like, that's one thing that I flaw with. That would make me a 10 times better Pokemon player. If I knew the speeds of Pokemon really well. That does take your game to another level. But I'm just going to Flare Blitz again. And do I Leaf Blade? Leaf Blade get that stab damage. Critical hit slam more easily. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go leaf blade here. We're gonna blade this leaf up. Let's get it. Kartana does outspeed. Doing some nice damage. And I feel like we win this game. Airstream's gonna come out here. Actually, ooh, we might not. Oh no, it goes after Kartana. That's GG's. That is GG's, man. I was gonna say the only way he wins this game. Actually, Flare Blitz is just gonna take it out. The only way he was gonna win that game is if he got a KO. He got a KO that turn. But he did not. Did not. He should have went after my Incineroar KO'd and then tried to get after my Kartana. But either way, we won that game. Match number one was pretty good. Pretty lengthy. Got to show off the team to its fullest potential, which is awesome. And we got 1-0 to get this video started. Second battle coming at you guys. Looking to get a win streak rolling. This guy's got a pretty cool team. He has a Dialga team alongside with Inteleon, Grimmsnarl, Darmanitan. But not the uh, not the Pokemon Sword and Shield Darmanitan. He's got the old one, the Gen 5 Darmanitan, alongside with Rillaboom and Sylveon. Okay, that's a pretty cool team. I am really liking that one. But I think I figured out why I'm in a good mood or have a lot of energy today. It's probably because it's Sunday when I'm recording this. And I absolutely love Sundays. I feel like I have no priorities on Sunday. I do I do have a little bit of homework to do. But that's about it. I got I get to watch the hockey game after I get the recording because I love hockey. So my team is playing. Um, I don't have to work out today. Today's my day off from the gym. I get to play video games with the boys. Just, you know, everything's a great day. And I get to record for you guys. It's just awesome on Sundays. Yo. Sundays are my day. But we're going to get started here. And I think I'm going to lead the Regilecki. I think Regilecki's not a bad lead here. He does have Sylveon. But she might lead as well. But Regilecki can slow down and do a lot of work. 
Uh, I am definitely going to bring Rick Quasa, but I don't think I'm going to bring him in the front. He has a lot of physical attackers. Well, not a lot. He has a couple. But I am going to go Incineroar because I do have Snarl, which is nice. So I think I'm going to lead them to go Kartana and Rick Quasa. Keep Mimikyu out of this situation. He has no Trick Room, so I don't have to worry about that. The Alga is looking a little scary, though. He is not going to lie. That is a really, really strong Pokemon. But I am really liking this team so far. Rayquaza is such a cool Pokemon to use. And I love his typing. I really do like his typing with the air and the dragon. Because you can get physical attack drops with stab damage. And speed boost with stab damage. I feel like that's like two of the best max moves. It's air stream because you get the speed. And then worm wind because you get the attack drop on the team. So I, I really do like his typing with the, with the Dynamax format. But he goes Grimmsnarl and Dialga. So he's potentially going to set up some screens. Um, I'm just going to start snarling. I don't even think I'm going to drop a fake out. I don't think I'm going to drop a fake out. Intimidate's going to come out here. I'm just going to do work on Grimmsnarl if he has some physical attacking moves. But I think I'm just going to snarl and start taking Dialga out this game. Start slowing him down as well. So E-Web, getting after it. Snarl, getting after it. <laughs> we're just going to we're just gonna pester. I really do like playing teams like this. He's going to set up a light stream. Okay, that's totally fine. But I always like playing teams like this. Where I can just... uh. Just, oh, you really dodge that attack? It's okay. Luckily, it wasn't a snarl. I'd rather just snarl hit. But I always like playing teams that I can like slow the game down, just drop stats, and roll from there. He's going to go for an Earth Power, which I should be able to eat up just dandy. Yep, thank you. If I can get off an E-Web next turn, then I should be thriving. I can be able to get off another snarl, which is going to be great. A nice little lovely snarl. Uh, do I just or I no I can't fly, but it's not super effective. But again, another E Web's coming out here. I think another Snarl is gonna drop here. He's not gonna be able to do as much damage to us. And then maybe I can parting shot and save my Incineroar's fake out for another turn. And get out Rayquaza. That is a hundred percent a possibility. Cause it's always nice to get these drops and then get my Pokemon in, because he can't really do much to my Rayquaza after that. He's gonna set up a reply. The screens are gonna be great for him. I do have light screen, which I should probably set up. Actually, no, I don't have my Mimikyu. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I lied. Nice little E Web. So, Incineroar should be faster than the Dialga now. Definitely faster than Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is minus two. And I should be able to get off the Snarl. Yep. Make a minus two in both those categories. And then I'm gonna just parting shot next turn into the Dialga slot. Considering if he swaps the Dialga, we can get off a parting shot on whichever Pokemon we want. We go for another Earth Power, which this should be a tasty snack for your boy. Oh, did you get a crit? No, don't tell me. Didn't even get a crit? Wow, dude, that did a lot of damage. As a minus two, I didn't really see that coming, but that's totally fine. He kind of did some work. Oh, isn't Earth Power physical? It might be. Earth Power might be a physical move. I always thought it was special, but I know Diablo's special attacking. Uh, we can get out you. We can get out Cartana. Cartana's not bad. We do have the fighting, but now nah, we're gonna get out Rayqu Rayquaza here. Rayquaza is gonna be our Dynamax Pokemon. Rayquaza, baby. <laughs> Getting after it. Airlock coming through. Effects on weather. And then I'm just going to start dropping some uh, Thunderbolts. Actually, I could Volt Switch. I'm, I think I'm going to Volt Switch here. And try to get out Kartana. I think I'm going to try to get out Kartana. What should I go for? I should go for a Warm Wind. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Warm Wind. And I, I think I'm going to get out Kartana here. Just to be able to go for a Smart Strike. And get that Beast Boost. So, if I can get him rolling, we'll be fine. He has this whole festive well. He's be, he'll be chilling. As long as he, I don't, he, there's no way he Dynamaxes Dialga this time. He's either swapping him or just keeping him in like this. Uh, I like this. I like what we're saying. We did lose our uh, Incineroar, but at a good cost to kind of like pester these Pokemon down to lower speed and special attack. And yo, is, is this thing physical attacking? It's got to be physical attacking. Right? 100% it's got to be physical attacking. Aren't they usually special attacking? Because if he's Dynamaxing this thing as it's minus two, then I made a big mistake. But I'm always positive Earth Power special. But we'll see. Taunt's coming out here. Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know why I did that, but thank you. Volt Switch coming here. Yeet. Bang. I'll be able to get out Kartana. Kartana should be able to chill. Actually, might go for a Max Quake. That might be his thing. Might be going for a Max Quake onto... Uh, we're going after my Regilecki slot. But we got our Kartana in now. Here's my Worm Wim. We're going to you. We're going to not take out the Grimmsnarl. And do the Stalgus really, really good. And now if he is physical, we got the attack drop. So, 
Okay, I'm cool with that. Hopefully he's going for a dragon move to proc my policy. I would love it. Thank you. Yeah. We should be able to eat this up all day. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yo, we are sitting so well here. We really are. We really are sitting well here. Oh, we do get the attack drop for my Kartana, which stinks. But we're just going to boost it back up after I get the smart strike off. So our policy's proc. We're going to be able to take out Grimstarl here. Bring our attack back to normal. Smart strike over on you. Then do I just worm one again? I don't think we, we don't need speed. I'm just going to go for one another worm one. Let's get after it. We're not going to be able... Actually, we might be able to take out the Alga. I don't think we are, though. I think we're going to bring him to low red. Let's just see what happens. Smart strike comes through. Grim strong. Get out of my face. He does have screens up, which is nice. But back to normal. We're even on the uh, attack board. We went from minus one to plus one. And here goes my worm wing. If we pick up this KO, it's pretty much GG. They pick up this KO. Show it to me. Yeah, I knew it was going to be low. Dude, I knew it was going to be low red. I knew it, man. Yeah, we go low red. And he's going to be able to get off one more turn here. And he's going to go for a worm when to drop my attack again with my Cortana. And he's going to be able to take out... Not take out my Rayquaza, which is huge. Um... And I think the play here is going to be Cortana takes out Diaga with the Sacred Sword. And Rayquaza gets off a turn over onto the other Pokemon. Dang, Light Screen did help him out tremendously there. No light screen, Diablo's gone, and that's GG's. Real Boom's gonna come out here. Oh, yo, he can fake me out. I still want that Diablo dead, or he can grassy God. I still want that Diablo dead. We do have Regilecki in the back. Okay, um, and we do have Aerial Ace, which is pretty good. But again, I gotta get rid of you, first and foremost. Good guard. Good guard just to waste out turns, which I think I'm gonna do. Oh, we're taunted, bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's fine. He's going to go after this real boom. He's going to glide on me. Lucky biscuit. Lucky biscuit. Okay. Partana takes out Diago. We go back to normal. Uh, we do have Regilecki coming back out here. So we can slow down and potentially just control this match. And maybe have Cartana just clutch it up. Because we do have Aerial Ace. Grimstone is gone. He does have screens. It really, it's really depending on this last Pokemon. Yo, we got some good battles today. We got some goodies. Beast boost back to normal attack. The dang worm went doing me dirty. I just like he popping back out here. I know it's not very effective, but we gotta get rid of this roll boom with the Kartana. And he's gonna send out our Manitan. Oh my. Mm, 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 mm. Jeans does not like this one bit. Jeans does not like this. We definitely gotta E web. Definitely gotta E web and get after that our Manitan. I'm not dealing with him. Uh, I could go for a smart strike. No, we cannot go for a smart strike. Leaf Blade. Oh, my lord. I think it's sure we can come out here. Hmm. Attack never misses. I think Sacred Sword's a better option. I do more damage to him. Slow these boys down with an E web. Grassy guy's coming through on my Regilecki. Regilecki's. Oh, onto my Kartana. E web coming out here. So we're slowing these boys down. We need Darmantan out of here. Kartana, do him dirty. Kartana. If Kartana picks up this KO, it's GG. One's going to be super close. Take a sword. Let's go. Doom dirty. No. Yo, missed our man. Thing. He's going for that flare blitz. That's going to KO Kartana all day. He's going to take mean recoil damage. And I can kill him with a E-Web. And I don't know. Oh, he doesn't pick up the KO on himself. That's whack. Do I have to go for an E-Web? I, I would have rather went for a Thunderbolt. Oh, my lord. This game, man. This game's doing me dirty. Comes down to just my Regilecki. e webs definitely got to come out here 100%. Slow down that Rillaboom again. I mean, Regilecki's already faster. We're kind of doing it just for to take out the Darmantan. Get a little bit of damage off here. Glides come out here. And yeah, oh my lord, that did a heap. And that's GG's. Unless he misses the... Unless he misses the next Grassy God. I mean, it, it's regardless over. It's over, man. He can miss like the next two attacks. And we're still not killing this thing. Oh man, yo, that was a good match. That was honestly a good match. Darmantan in the back end. Definitely clutched it up for him. Being able to take out my Kartana. And same thing with the screens. I feel like the screens did help him tremendously in that battle. Screens are always OP. I'm going to run this one. This one's definitely over. And we're going to go one and one for the first two battles. So we can hop to our third and final. And look for that winning record. Looking for a winning record in our third and final battle. We're going up against, I think, one of the strongest teams in the meta right now. It's an Ice Calyrex team. Alongside with 
very strong meta Pokemon with the Incineroar, the Indeedee, the Dust Clouds for the Trick Room, Regilecki, and the Torkoal for Weather Control. Very strong team. Hopefully, we can pick up this win. If not, we showed off very, very strong first two battles. We catch the dub in our first one. The second battle was close. We just ended up losing in the end. Um, I got to bring Mimikyu as a lead, so I can potentially Trick Room Control. So we're going to Rayquaza as well. I I'm, I'm kind of with it, but he does have Calyrex, man. I think does me dirty. does me real dirty. I'm going to bring Cal uh, Rayquaza. I'm going to bring Incineroar as well. And then in the final spot, no Moongus, but again, he controls a lot of that with the Moongus. He can do big damage. I don't think Moongus is going to see the spotlight today. Um, I think Cartana. Yeah, let's go Cartana here. Let's get him rolling. Let's get Cartana rolling here. I really like want to show off a Moongus, but dude, he has the fire with the Torkoal and the Incineroar, and then he has the Psychic with the uh, Ndidi. It's just not looking good. And the Ice with the Calyrex. Yeah, a Moongus back end. Get him out of here. He's not, he's not playing today. He's, he's riding Pine. He's sitting bench today. But let's see who he leads. He's got to be leading in the, uh, the Dust Cops, right? Ndidi and Dust Cops. Okay, that's pretty fair. Pretty straightforward. And we're going to lead these two. Um, I do have a... Uh, what's it called? I do have a room service, which is pretty nice. A nice big old room service. He's gonna frisk me up. He's gonna give me a little. He's gonna give me a little bit of frisk. So I honestly think the play is the proc. My, he's gonna follow me. That's gonna be his play. Okay, so never mind. I was gonna say proc the policy. I can't set up a light screen here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna set up a light chain. I could just drag an ascent. Hmm. Lowers my own defense and special defense, so good. I can just go straight into this. Get after this Ndidi. Is he gonna follow me and trick him, right? He does not, dude. Like, dang it, man. God dang it. What's he gonna do? Is he expanding forcing? He's gotta be expanding forcing. That buttery biscuit, man. Every time I think he's gonna go for a follow me, it does me dirty. Big damage with that. Expanding force gonna pop here. And we have a light screen up, so which is that's pretty good for us. In case this guy is going to plop down. And if he sets up a trick room, I'm just going to set up a trick room next turn. It's going to be my play. Or I am lower speed. Will the coming through? He missed! Yo, he stinks! <laughs> um, light screen's up and about. Let me just drain and kiss over here. I think we double up. You can burn. I'm just going to drop my physical attack onto my Mimikyu. And Mimikyu's not really doing much here. We're going to take out Ndidi. Did he think I was going to trick him? Ndidi protects. That's... Aw, uh, man. He gets fall free trick room. We get no hitting turns on here. Draining Kiss block. Dragon Ball is blocked. Trick room's up. Try to play by him. It'll work. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Guess for another will of it. Yo, dude, that's totally fine. Like, I, don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Again, we're, we're, we're really here just to pester. I'm going to take out this Ndidi now. Bring the kiss up on him. Actually, that kind of helps me out. If I want to set up my uh, Rayquaza. Pretty lovely. Because I'll do less damage on them. I can still Dynamax my, Rayqu my Rayquaza. Bring the kiss is going to bring this below half. Dragon Pulse is going to be able to pick up the KO. We do have our Light Screen still popping up here. Put my Cartana in the back. And Cartana could be our Dynamax bond. Let's see. Make a move, buddy. Make a move. With my draining kiss. We're gonna get actually back a little bit of HP here, which is gonna be nice. Kinda neglect some of that burn damage. Bring it back up. There you go. Thank you very much. Dragon Pulse can come out. Nice. You're out of here, you're dead. So indeed he's gone. Um, I might Dynamax this turn. If he doesn't set up trick, let's see what he does. He just can go straight for a nightshade. I think he's like waiting for me to kind of set up a trick room. I think I'm gonna Dynamax. Yeah, because Calyx is rather slow. I think I'm going to Dynamax here. Proc my policy and get rolling with that. Because I have to get rid of this thing. I do have to get rid of this thing. Like, big time. Or, 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 jeans. Or. There's always an or. Oh, what's going to be a play? I could will o -Wisp. I'm thinking of just throwing a burn on him. And dropping a... Mm. Yo, I I'm going to proc policy. Not even going to lie. I'm going to proc policy here. I'm going to get after his Calyx. I'm getting straight after his Calyrex. He's gonna die. He might Dynamax him here. Might be a bad play. This might be a bad play. If he doesn't Dynamax, it's a bad play. 
Or no, if he does Dynamax, then I think it's going to be a bad play. But if he doesn't, I think we're sitting in, a, in the driver's seat with this one. And I think I think we're going to hit and, hit and drive, putting it in, uh, putting our turbos on, and we just stepping on that pedal. We're getting in. And we close it with the big old Dynamax. And show me you're not Dynamax, horsey boy. Dang it, dude. <laughs> horsey boy coming in for the Dynamax. Okay. Um... So, if we do not KO it here, which I don't think we are, considering this thing is an absolute bulk. Even with our policy, I still think it's eaten up. I'm just going to dump on my Rayquaza. Rayquaza out for the count. And I think he sets up Trick Room here as well. But then I do have Room Service, and I come in with a Will-O-Wisp. Really nice. Draining Kiss comes out here. Rockin' Policy. Wonderful. Rayquaza get buzzing here. He just stole some of his HP, too. <laughs> He's got to be going for that Trick Room. Let's see. Let's see how this uh, throws down. See how this happens. Flare's coming out here. Let's go, Rayquaza. Yeah, dude, look how bulky this thing is. Like, how is that fair? I just don't get it. I get that it's a coverage move, but we're plus two on our attack board. Are we going to go for eight? Ooh, ooh, hold up. Yo, you left me hanging in this game? Okay, so we sent up. Oh, we sent up a trick. Ooh, no. Jeans, Jeans doesn't like this one bit. You just don't like this one base. Set up a trick room, man. If he doesn't set up a trick room, I think we win this game, but he's gotta be setting up a trick room, right? Oh my lord, dude. Like that is like dude, this thing is so strong. It's ridiculous. Oh, didn't see that coming. Ooh, a trick room. <laughs> but I honestly think this Pokemon is is really unfair. It's so strong in every category. It's an absolute beast. I have to go into go into you. Not bad putt. I have to go into you. And I think we have to double up into uh that slot right there. Actually, I'm gonna guard. I'm gonna guard and play butts. Let me play. Intimidation come down here. We're gonna take off his chilling nay. Little boost. I think I have to guard here, right? I think I have to guard, yeah. Let me go for that player butts. Get after that thing. And we're going big A. Hey yo, we guarding here. We guarding. Block. Put up big shield. Put up big shield, Rayquaza. Here goes the Nightshade. Hey, yo, chill on me with the damage, man. Chill on me with the damage. Hailstorm's gonna come out here. Hey, yo, out my face. Yo, I could've just party shot it on that thing. That could've been pretty good. But Flare Bus can come out here and do a little bit of damage onto it. But I think we double up into this thing now and we just get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that's play. We Flare Blitz. Actually, do I just Flare Blitz into him? And if we can't get off a turn, we go after you. But nah, you know, we double one up. Much I don't want to, I think we have to. Let's do it. Because I think he, he has to drop a hailstorm here. Yeah, see? We go for another Nightshade. I think a Flare Blitz should be able to take it out. If not, we... Oh, no, we don't outspeed it. Here goes a hailstorm. Rayquaza. Oh, is that going after my... Oh, no, he's going after Rayquaza. Yeah. Look how strong that thing is. Like, oh, my lord. That thing's an absolute beast. It's not even boosted, and it's just dumping on my Rayquaza. I'm plus two boosted, and he's eating the shots up all day. All day. It's ridiculous. It's, it's insane. It's, it really is. And he took out the heat, so we're not going to be able to pick up the KO. He's just going to GG me. That is GG's. Blood Bus comes out. No, we need that heat. We need that heat. Nightshade might take out my Incineroar, but if it doesn't... He still has another Pokemon in the back. It's tough, unless Cartana can clutch it up. Redonkulous how strong the thing is. Insane. Cartana comes out. Let's get it, baby. And I think I try to pick up the KO with Cartana. Just get that beast boost rolling. Um. Hmm. Let me shop a flare blitz, or it could just snarl. <laughs> snarl is super effective on both. I think we snarl and then we go. If we can get off this smart strike. Hmm. Because they're both going to outspeed me. I'd rather just get the beast boost with my uh, with my Kartana. That'd probably be my best bet. So I think I just flare blitz into you. Then I get that beast boost rolling. If I can. But let's see what he does. We can go for Nightshade. Sonora, can you eat this turn? Nope. Later. Later, skater. And here goes a nice little glacial lance here. Kartana. Come on, you got this, buddy. Even though a Nightshade's gonna take me out next turn. Oh my lord, dude, why is this thing so strong? It is legit OP. I seriously think this Pokemon is way too overpowered. It shouldn't even be in this game. But GG's, we got one and two for today's video.
I'm glad I got to show off this Rayquaza team for today's video. The first battle went really well. We ended up picking up that W and getting to show off this team to its fullest potential. The second battle we ended up losing, but I felt like it was a good battle to show off in a video. And then that third and final battle, we just got dumped on by Calyrex. That Pokemon is super, super strong. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.